Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to move, copy or paste keyframes on your Final Cut Pro 10. Before the start of this tutorial, please remember to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Your support is my motivation to continue to produce more content for you guys. Let's get started. So first of all, there are few clips in the timeline. Let's start with how do you copy the same keyframing for one component of the video to the next clip. For illustration purposes, I'm just gonna use opacity for a simpler explanation. So I'm just gonna play the clip and as you can see that the opacity drops to zero after a while. And once I select the clip and right click and hit show video animation, you can see that opacity under compositing opacity there's three dots. So these three dots are actually keyframes and if you want to move the position you can just drag them along the line wherever you want. If not, let's start with how do you copy or transfer these three dots to the next clip. So very simple. You can just double click on this section here to summon this graph and you know select this region over here. Place your playhead over here or the starting or whichever position you want it to be. Maybe in the middle or maybe the starting further ahead but I'm just gonna choose the first dot. After that, I'm just gonna press Option, Shift, and C. And this is automatically copied to my clipboard. And I'm gonna select the next clip. For simplicity, I'm gonna show the video animation of this clip as well. And for example, this is a clip and I don't want to make the opacity to drop at end all the way at the end of the clip but at the middle so I'm just gonna place my playhead over here also to select compositing and press option shift and V and voila it's already copied over and as you can see that this is exactly the value and the time the duration time of the first clip regarding opacity and is transferred to the middle part and this method also applies to audio, so if you have audio effects you want to transfer, such as keyframes, you can also use this method to transfer to your next audio. On the other hand, if you want to transfer the same, say, opacity keyframes to an earlier position, say this part, also to select compositing and press option shift plus V, so this thing will be copied over to the position under your playhead but remember to select the section you want to copy over for example this is compositing opacity if you select something else for example trim or transform keyframes might be copied over to the other parts or other effects that you might not want it to be and this brings me to the second section of this video say i have radio and sharpen effect for this video and for simplicity i'm just gonna create a few keyframes for radio for example this one is going to go down go up and go down so once i hit play the effect is going to look like this and if I want to copy the amount say the amount for radio to sharpen yep it can be done as usual I'm just gonna double click on this section select all these three dots and press option plus shift plus C and go to the sharpen section and double click on it as usual and to the position you want it to be maybe this is the position you want it to be and press option shift and V it's already copied over if you want it to be in another position as usual you can always go to the other position and place your play hat over here and press option shift plus V and as you can see there's a sharpen effect done transferred over exactly the same the value the duration everything the same and that brings me to the end of today's tutorial 
Hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope this video is meaningful to your editing. Thank you very much and please remember to subscribe and like this video. Bye bye.